Hi, I'm Laddie of Organized by Laddie, and I used to be a preschool teacher. And one of the things that I miss the most about teaching preschool is reading books to children. So I am planning to record one video a month of me reading a story to children so that you can use this when you're feeling run down as a parent or, you know, you just don't have time to do another thing and you can let your kids watch this video. So the story that I'm going to read today is called We Were Tired of Living in a House by Liesl Moex Scorpin, pictures by Doris Burns. Let's find out what kinds of adventures this family ends up going on as they find a different place to live. Where would you live if you weren't living in a house? Something to think about. We were tired of living in a house. So we packed a bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and mittens and woolen caps. And we moved to a tree. We liked our tree. There was always a breeze in the afternoon that rippled through a roof. Above in a branch lived a speckled bird who sang all day for the sake of a song, and our roof in the autumn turned scarlet and gold. We liked our tree. Would you like to live in a tree like that? Until we tumbled out. Oh no. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and mittens and scarlet leaves and gold. And we moved to a pond. We liked our pond. We built a raft and floated about among the reeds and the lily pads. Below, fish darted, dragonflies above, a pond frog sang with us on summer nights. We liked our pond. That raft looks like it would be fun to live on. Until we think. Uh oh. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend. They're packing up again. Where are they going to go next, do you think? And we moved to a cave. We liked our cave. We slept on beds of cool green moss. We hunted for blackberries in the woods. We dipped our water from the brook and roasted walnuts over a fire. When we weren't busy, we explored. We liked our cave. Until we met the bears. Uh-oh. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend and precious stones that caught and held the sun. They're packing up again. Where are they going to go? And we move to the sea. We like the sea. The sea is like the ocean. We built a castle on the shore from salty water and warm sea sand, with turrets and towers and moats about. We hunted for treasure and dove in the waves and slept to the pleasant songs of the surf. We liked our castle on the shore. But the tides kept washing us out to sea. Have you ever had that happen when you made a sandcastle? What do you think they're going to do next? So we packed our bag with sweaters and scarlet leaves and gold, and a frog who was a particular friend, and precious stones that caught and held the sun, and seashells singing like the surf. 
They're packing up again. Where are they gonna go this time? And we went home to live in a house. They went back home. I don't know if you noticed when I was reading this book, but on each page is the dog and the cat. So if you read this, when I read the story again, if you watch the video again, you can look for the dog and the cat and see what they're doing on each page. Another thing that you can notice is every time they pack up, they have a few less items because the things get lost along the way. So that's another thing that you can listen for. I hope you enjoyed this story and you can look and see if I have any other stories in my YouTube channel.